Spin dry versus tumble dry. Differences and when to use each. Tumble dry, spin dry. They both have the word dry in their name, have something to do with laundry and are connected to wet clothes. They are, however, quite different from each other. Let's explore the main differences so you can find out when to use a spin dry setting and when to use a tumble dry cycle. Let's start with spin dry. A spin dry takes place towards the end of a washing cycle and its sole purpose is to spin the soaking wet laundry around in the drum really fast to extract moisture from the material. This means that when you go to pull your clean laundry out of the washing machine, it isn't dripping wet and extremely heavy. Instead, the laundry will be damp and more manageable. The spin dry feature is incredibly useful and popular with users because it helps to speed up the drying process. Think about how much effort it would take to heave piles of drenched laundry outdoors and to then try and stick the weighty washing on a line. Also, spinning clothes before they go into a tumble dryer helps the dryer finish quicker, which saves money as dryers are expensive to run. Another advantage of a spin cycle is that you can usually choose the spin speed to suit the material. Cottons, for example, can withstand an RPM of around 1400, whereas delicate items made of silk can tolerate an RPM of less than 400, and in some cases it would be best not to spin such materials at all. So when should you use the spin dry feature? A few instances in which you would use it include the following. One, as part of a regular washing cycle to remove excess water. Two, to remove unwanted fluid from clothes that have been washed and are still wet. You can use extra spin cycles if one cycle doesn't get rid of enough water. Three, you could also spin dry your wet laundry if it got caught out on the line in the rain. The spin would remove the rainwater for you and would make the clothes easier to dry. Now that you know what spin drying is, let's take a look at tumble drying. Tumble dry usually refers to putting your laundry inside a tumble dryer to dry it. This is significantly different to a spin dry because a tumble dryer's aim is to fully dry your laundry rather than just to extract some of the fluid from it. When you put your clothes in a dryer to tumble dry them, they will be exposed to heat and agitation as the drum moves them around. The constant hot temperature and movement dries the clothes. Items usually come out of the machine feeling warm, and if you've chosen a ready-to-wear cycle, you can pop the item of clothing on straight away. Using a tumble dryer to dry your laundry is incredibly convenient because it can save you a lot of time. In most cases, dryers do a good job of drying clothes. However, there are certain times when they can cause troubles for your laundry. Some clothes are not tumble dryer friendly or can't withstand certain temperatures. This can cause clothing to shrink or become damaged. Although it's not impossible to unshrink clothes or repair them, it can take time to do this. So when should you use a tumble dryer? Some instances in which you might want to use a tumble dryer include the following. 1. When it's wet outside and you can't dry the laundry. 2. When it's too cold to dry the clothes outside. 3. When you need clothes dried quickly. Let's summarise the differences between spin drying and tumble drying. Firstly, spin drying is a feature on a washing machine, whereas tumble drying is obviously done by a tumble dryer. Secondly, tumble drying fully dries clothes whereas spin drying simply removes excess water. Another important difference is that tumble drying uses heat, whereas spin drying does not. Tumble drying can be more versatile, as tumble dryers usually have a lot of settings to choose from. Tumble drying is also less likely to leave your clothes creased and can help cut down on time spent ironing. Make sure you read the care label on your clothing and follow what it says when spinning or tumble drying your clothes. Not all clothes can be tumble dried, and spin drying can also damage certain materials. I hope this video has helped you understand the difference between spin and tumble drying. For more laundry tips, check out our website, inthewash.co.uk. Thanks for watching.